Good day. Today, I will be presenting Game Theory. Game Theory is a branch of applied mathematics that provides tools for analyzing situations in which parties called players make decisions that are interdependent. The players. Game Theory's main element includes a set of players. They are the decision makers of the game. Strategies. Game Theory includes game rules that are set in a hierarchy to mention the arrangement of the best possible strategies and actions. The complete set of rules describe a game. Consequences. Choices available to the player. It is a state in a game which results from a move or action made by a player. Outcomes or results. This includes the expected payoffs as per outcomes. It is assumed that all participants are already aware of these payoffs. A solution to a game describes the optimal decisions of the players, who may have similar, opposed, or mixed interests, and the outcomes that may result from these decisions. Nash Equilibrium Nash Equilibrium is a strategy for each player, such that every player's action is the best response to the other player's actions. Maximum Solutions It is a strategy that allows players to avoid the largest losses. Strategic dominance is a state in game theory that occurs when the strategy that the player can use leads to better outcomes for them than alternative strategies. Dominated strategies. Strategies of one player that are being dominated by another strategy from the other player by outperforming it with no alternative. Perfect information. If each player, when making a decision, is perfectly informed of all the actions that have previously occurred. Imperfect information. The opposite of perfect information, where players are not fully informed. Complete information, the strategies, payoffs, and player information are common knowledge to all players. Incomplete information, the opposite of complete information, where one or more players may possess private information. Sequential games. In a sequential game, no two players move at the same time, and players may have to move several times. Dama. Dama is a Filipino game similar to draughts or checkers, played on an 8x8 grid with diagonal lines connecting the points. Each player starts with 12 pieces positioned in the first three rows, and they take turns moving their pieces forward along the lines capturing opponent's pieces by hopping over them to an empty spot on the opposite side. The objective is to capture all of the opponent's pieces to win. The concepts involved in Dama is 1. Sequential game 2. Perfect information 3. Complete information and 4. Backward induction method Backward Induction Solution in Dama The game begins with an initial position where each player has their pieces placed on the dark squares of the board in their starting positions. The dark squares form an 8x8 grid and each player has 12 pieces. Step 2 Player X's Move Player X has the first move. In this step, Player X will analyze their available moves and choose the move that leads to the best outcome for them. The goal of each player is to capture their opponent's pieces by jumping over them diagonally and removing them from the board. Step 3. Player O's Move Player O responds to Player X's move and chooses their move based on the new game state. Players will continue to alternate moves until a terminal state is reached. Step 4. Continue alternating moves. Player X and O continue to alternate moves, each trying to maximize their chances of winning by strategically positioning their pieces and capturing their opponent's pieces. Step 5. Terminal States The game will reach a terminal state when one of the following conditions is met. 1. Player X wins by capturing all of Player O's pieces. Two. Player O wins by capturing all of Player X's pieces. 3. The game ends in a draw due to no more legal moves. Step 6. Work backwards to find optimal moves now.
We work backward from the terminal states to determine the optimum moves for each player at each decision point. Players will choose new moves that maximize their chances of winning. Step 7. Subgame Perfect Equilibrium The backward induction process leads us to a subgame perfect equilibrium, which represents the optimal strategies for both players at each decision point in the game. Tex. Tex is also known as Tex Game Cards. It is a popular Filipino game among children. Players toss the cards into the air and use their thumb and forefinger to flip them upward, creating a snapping sound when the thumb's nail hits the card surface. The winner collects other players' cards based on how they land on the ground. Concepts involved in Tex 1. Sequential 2. Perfect information, B. Incomplete information, and 4. Backwards induction method. Tex has a similar mechanics with a simple coin flip game, which has two possible outcomes, heads or tails. In the coin flip game, two players, let's call them player 1 and player 2, participate. The game consists of a single round where a fair coin is tossed and the outcome can either be heads or tails, with equal possibility. The extensive form representation of the coin flip game is a simple tree with this two decision nodes, one node for each player, and two terminal nodes representing the possible outcomes, heads or tails, after the coin is tossed. Explanation Player 1 is the first to move and chooses either heads or tails. After player 1's decision, the coin is tossed and the outcome is determined. Player 2, based on the outcome, heads or tails, chooses either heads or tails as well. Backward induction solution for the coin flip game. To apply backward induction, we start at the end of the game, terminal nodes, and work our way backward. Determining the optimal strategy for each player at each decision node. Last player's action, player 2 is the last player to move at the terminal nodes. Since a coin toss outcome is random, player 2's optimal strategy is to choose either heads or tails with equal probability of 50% each. Second to last, player's action. Player 1 is the second to last player to move at the second level of the tree. Player 1 knows that player 2 will choose either heads or tails randomly with equal probability. Therefore, player 1's optimal strategy is to also choose either heads or tails with equal probability of 50% each. First player's action. Now we are at the initial decision node at the top of the tree. Player 1 has no information about the coin toss outcome yet. Therefore, player 1's optimal strategy is to also choose either heads or tails with equal probability. Backward induction result The backward induction solution for the coin flip game is that both players should choose either heads or tails with equal probability of 50% each as their optimal strategy. This equilibrium strategy ensures that neither player has an advantage over the other. Given the random outcome of the coin toss, remember that this solution assumes that both players are rational decision makers and are indifferent between heads and tails due to the fairness of the coin flip. Simultaneous games. In a simultaneous game or static game, each player has only one move and all moves are made simultaneously. Pabitin is a traditional Filipino party game commonly played during celebrations and fiestas. A grid or frame made of bamboo sticks is hung from a high point, and various prizes and feats are attached to the frame. Players stand or jump together to try and grab as many prizes as possible before the game host lowers the frame down. Concepts involved in Pabitin 1. Simultaneous game 2. Imperfect information 3. Complete information and for Nash Equilibrium.
Nash equilibrium based on the strategies for both players. Player 1 and player 2 both get a score of 1 if they both jump at the same time, making it the best choice out of the latter strategies. If either one of them deviates, it would harm them negatively. In this case, they would get a score of 0 instead of 1. This is an example of a zero-sum game. Maximum solution, there is no maximum solution to this problem, as it is a zero-sum game. Player 1 strategies when player 2 chooses the following. If player 2 grabs a treat, best move for player 1 is to grab a treat. If player 2 does not grab a treat, best move for player 1 is to grab a treat. Player 2 strategies when player 1 chooses the following. Player 1 grabs a treat. Best move for player 2 is to grab a treat. Player 1 does not grab a treat. Best move for player 2 is to grab a treat. Player 2 strategies when player 1 chooses the following. Player 1 grabs a treat. Player 2 grabs a treat. Dominant strategy. Player 1 grabs a treat. Assist leads to an outcome of 1 for player 1, regardless of player 2's choice. Player 2 grabs a treat as this leads to an outcome of 1 for player 2 regardless of player 1's choice. Dominated strategy Player 1 does not grab a treat as this leads to an outcome of 0 for player 1 regardless of player 2's choice. Player 2 does not grab a treat as this leads to an outcome of 0 for player 2 regardless of player 1's choice. Jack and Boy the local version of rock, paper, scissors, also known as bato, papel, at gunting. Though the origin of the spelling came from the American influence, the game is really Japanese in origin, janken, with the lyrics in the Japanese version sounding akin to hongbot. Concepts involved in Jack and Boy 1. Simultaneous game 2. Perfect information 3. Complete Information or Nash Equilibrium Let us use the table below for the following outcomes. If rock goes against scissors, then rock equals 2, scissors equals 1, and vice versa. If paper goes against rock, then paper equals 2, rock equals 1, and vice versa. If scissors goes against paper, then scissors equals 2, paper equals 1, and vice versa. If rock, paper, or scissors goes against the same strategy, then both players get 1 as a point or 1 is to 1 and has to repeat the round again until they either get 2 is to 1 or 1 is to 2. So listed below are the possible outcomes for each choice the player makes against the other player, vice versa. Best responses for each player in a two-player game. Player 1's best responses. If player 2 chooses rock, player 1's best response is scissors. If player 2 chooses paper, player 1's best response is rock. If player 2 chooses scissors, player 1's best response is paper. Player 2's best responses. If player 1 chooses rock, player 2 its best response is scissors. If player 1 chooses paper, player 2's best response is rock. If player 1 chooses scissors, player 2's best response is paper. The maximum solution is when both players choose any strategy, rock, paper, or scissors, since all strategies lead to the same maximum value of 1 for both players. In other words, there is no dominant strategy for either player, and they should play each strategy with equal probability to achieve the maximum solution. As seen below is a list of the data which includes the worst payoff for each player for each strategy. Dominating strategies, none as there are equal probabilities between each strategy. Dominated strategies, none as there are equal probabilities between each strategy. Taguan or Tagutaguan. Participants usually step on couches, hide under tables, or wrap themselves in curtains. It is similar to the game Hide and Seek. 
concepts involved in tagutaguan or taguan. 1. Simultaneous game. 2. Imperfect information. 3. Incomplete information. And 4. Nash equilibrium. Let the table be of reference. Let the numbers represent the likelihood of the seeker or hider to find a hider or hide from the seeker, with 2 being the highest and 0 being the lowest. The seeker and hiders have 3 strategies they can do in this case. Either they can go aggressive or neutral in terms of search or hiding, or ultimately just go home without telling anyone. To find the best strategy for a seeker, we are going to refer to the possible scenarios. If the hiders choose to be aggressive, the best strategy for the seeker is to be aggressive also. Giving us the values, 2 is to 1. If the hiders choose to be neutral, the best strategy would be to be aggressive, with the values 2 is to 1. If the hiders choose to go home without telling anyone, all options lead to the seeker not being able to find the hiders, no matter what giving us the numbers 0 is to 2. To find the best strategy for our hiders, we are going to refer to the possible scenarios. If the seeker chooses to be aggressive, the best strategy for the hiders is to go home without telling anyone, giving the values 0 is to 2. If the seeker chooses to be neutral, the best strategy for the hiders is to go home without telling anyone, giving the values 0 is to 2. If the seeker chooses to go home without telling anyone, the hiders can choose either of the three strategies as it will always lead to them having the highest likelihood of not being found. Therefore, we have the following Nash equilibrium. Seeker with the values 2 is to 1, aggressive. Hiders 0 is to 2, go home without telling anyone. Dominant strategy, seeker, be aggressive, 2 is to 2 is to 0. Hiders, go home without telling anyone. 2 is to 2 is to 2. Dominated strategy, seeker, go home without telling anyone. 0 is to 0 is to 0. Hiders, be neutral. 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 2. Maximin solution. The maximin strategy for the seeker would be to choose the aggressive strategy, as it guarantees a minimum payoff of 2 which is the highest minimum payoff among all of the seeker's strategies. The maximum strategy for the hiders would be to choose to go home without telling anyone, as it guarantees a minimum payoff of 2, which is the highest minimum payoff among all of the hiders' strategies. Therefore, the maximum solution for this game is for the seeker to choose the aggressive strategy and for the hiders to choose to go home without telling anyone. To summarize, game theory offers valuable insights into understanding strategic interactions and decision making in various competitive scenarios. By studying different models such as the prisoner's dilemma, Nash equilibrium, and the concept of dominant strategies, we can better comprehend the dynamics of conflicts, cooperation, and negotiation. We hope that the following information about game theory and these different games help you learn more about these concepts. Thank you for listening and that's all. Game theory is a valuable mathematical concept that examines decision making in strategic situations where outcomes depend on the choices of multiple participants. Its applications in real life are extensive and diverse. In economics, game theory helps us understand market behavior and competition. In business, it aids in formulating effective strategies and gaining a competitive edge. It is relevant in negotiations, political science, environmental studies, evolutionary biology, social sciences, networking, cybersecurity, and public policy. By providing an al an analytical framework to model complex scenarios, game theory enables better decision making and outcome predictions across various fields. The foundation of security in our internet websites that require user credentials depend heavily on mathematical processes together with highly te technical computer science. 
from our everyday messages and interactions through Messenger, Facebook, and transactions to Conflux, Gcash, BPI, and BDO banking accounts, etc. All of them are secured through a properly monitored and secured crypto system. Moving on to the more complex and advanced applications of mathematical concepts, security. Internet websites make use of crypto systems to secure the credentials of their users. The security behind websites is called a crypto system. Crypto system is a digital system that involves the creation of cryptographic keys, digital signatures, and the confidentiality of private communications such as email and private messages, and also credit card transactions, all of which are concerned with digital security. With this, we have four concepts that play in crypto systems. The first one is secure communication. Secure communication guarantees the secrecy, integrity, and validity of the information being sent in private communications. The process that goes behind secure communication is encryption. It is a process that converts the plain text, say, encrypt the text into a cipher text, which is a text that ordinary people cannot understand. This ensures the security behind private messages in apps like Messenger and WhatsApp that uses end-to-end -end encryption, which is a process that makes a transfer of information secure that takes place only between the intended communicators. Another application of secure messaging is in emails. Encrypted email services plugins are used to safeguard email content from unwanted or outside access. An example we would like to discuss is how the crypto system of Facebook, a social network website, differs from a blockchain website in China, Conflux. Facebook found out some user credentials were stored in readable format within their internal data storage systems. This raised concerns as their login systems are designed to encrypt passwords, making them unreadable. They have since addressed the issue and will inform affected users in the Philippines and other countries as a precautionary measure. Facebook offers a security feature called Secure Surface HTTPS that encrypts the connection to the platform, safeguarding user information protecting their accounts. Facebook employs various indications to detect suspicious behavior, even if a password is entered correctly. Unfamiliar devices or locations trigger differing handling of logins. They ensure account ownership through second verification questions during strange login attempts in the Philippines. On the other hand, Conflux enhances security by integrating proof-of-work and proof-of-stake techniques, providing additional defenses. Proof-of-work, also called proof-of-validation, is used to validate transactions and add new blocks to the blockchain using a competitive validation mechanism. Proof-of-stake establishes which user or users authenticate brand new transactional blocks and are rewarded for doing so successfully. To counter password reuse across platforms, Facebook monitor data breach reports and stolen credentials databases. Stolen email and password combinations are checked against Facebook logins in the Philippines. 
Facebook hides users' passwords when they establish accounts to prevent anybody within the firm from seeing them in accordance with security best practices. In terms of security, they hash and solve the passwords utilizing techniques like the script, function, and a cryptographic key that enables us to permanently swap out your real password for a random string of letters. By using this method, they can verify that a user is rendering the right password without actually storing it in plain text. Other countries like China, Conflux, prioritizes authentication apps for added security and recovery. Users are promptly notified if a match is found and guided through password change. Security against attacks. Conflux tries to increase security against different attacks, including double spending and 51% assaults, by utilizing secure communication and confirmation graphs. Since a hacker would need more computing power than the whole network combined, the confirmation graphs make it more challenging for them to modify transaction history. Facebook added the option to register a physical security key to your account so that the next time you log in, all you have to do is tap a small hardware device that plugs into the USB drive of your computer. This reduced the dependency on passwords or digital passwords for high-risk users like journalists, activists, political campaigns, and public personalities. This metric is especially important. Conflux-based projects now have a defined path to take in order to assist a thorough security design. They will be able to benefit from the immense collective experience of super security professionals by collaborating directly with the Code Arena team. They provide audits, test coverage, mitigation reviews, or any other security solution customers require depending on where they are, the where they are in the development process. All of these alternatives can be initiated as part of the cooperation in as little as 48 hours. It is advised to consult official sources or recent news stories in the project for the latest information on Facebook's crypto system projects and their security features. Facebook's initial design was modified and its launch was delayed as a result of intense regulatory and public scrutiny. Furthermore, security is constantly seen differently by different people, and no system is 100% secure. Implementation, ongoing surveillance, and adaptation to new threats are all necessary for security measures to be effective. While Conflux has major issues like 51% assaults in the network and having flaws in the contract code that result in exploitation and financial loss. Encryption and decryption. In order to provide safe online browsing on the internet, encryption and decryption are essential. They are essential elements of internet security that safeguard confidential data from illegal access and uphold user privacy. Here is how encryption and decryption are used when accessing the internet. Encryption is the process of encrypting involves utilizing an algorithm and a cryptographic key to transform plain text or data into cipher text. This cipher text appears in an eligible string of random characters. Encryption is used to make sure that even if data is intercepted, no one will be able to decrypt it without the right decryption key. Encryption is used in a number of ways when you do online activities include visiting websites, sending emails, or filling out forms. A simple example of encryption is using numbers as substitute for letters A1, B2, C, G, Z26, and King, K, I, N, G will be encrypted as 11, 9, 14, and 7. End-to-end -end encryption. Email service providers and messaging applications occasionally use end-to-end -end encryption. The information you send is thereby encrypted on your device, transmitted over the internet in encrypted form, and can only be decoded by the intended recipient with the correct decryption key. The contents of your communications are hidden from everyone, even the service provider. HTTPS, your contact with a website that employs HTTPS or Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure is encrypted. This means that sensitive data including login passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive data is encrypted using encryption when it is transmitted between your browser and a website server. This guards against a shady people intercepting and reading your information. Decryption. The opposite of encryption is decryption. Using the appropriate cryptographic key, the ciphertext must be transformed back into plain text. Authorized receivers can only access and read encrypted data with the aid of decryption. Your browser or application will automatically decrypt data received from a website or service that used SSL or TLS or end-to-end -end encryption using the proper decryption key. You may view the text in its original, legible form as a result. In conclusion, encryption guarantees the security and privacy of the data you send and receive when browsing the internet. Authorized receivers can access the encrypted material and learn its contents, thanks to decryption. These procedures work together to safeguard users from different online dangers 
and privacy innovations and constitute the basis of secure internet browsing. The third concept is objectives of encryption. By attaining particular goals, encryption plays a crucial part in protecting private communications including email and credit card transactions. Its objectives are confidentiality, integrity, authenticity, and non repudiation Let's see how encryption accomplishes the following goals. Confidentiality. Encryption's main goal is to guarantee confidentiality. When data is encrypted, it is converted into ciphertext, an unintelligible format. The ciphertext cannot be converted back into plain text, its original readable format, without the proper decryption key. By doing this, sensitive information communicated in private chats is protected from being intercepted and understood by unauthorized parties such as hackers or cyber criminals. Integrity. Data integrity is also supported by encryption. Integrity in the context of private communications refers to the absence of any alterations or tampering during transmission of the data provided or received. By encrypting the data, any unwanted alterations would prevent it from being decrypted, warning the receiver that the data may have been compromised. Authenticity. Encryption and digital signatures can be used to produce authentication. Cryptographic techniques are used to establish digital signatures, which are used to confirm the message's integrity and the sender's identity. In order to confirm that the communication actually came from the stated sender and was not altered, the recipient might use the sender's public key to validate the digital signature. Non-repudiation. According to the law, the sender of a message cannot retract their sent message. Recipients can demonstrate that a certain sender actually sent a specific message by employing encryption and digital signatures. This is, this is crucial when dealing with sensitive transactions like credit card transactions because the parties involved want confirmation and proof that the transaction actually took place. Encryption protects private communications by guaranteeing their confidentiality, integrity, authenticity, and non repudiation It offers a secure foundation for online transactions and communications, while assisting in the protection of sensitive data from illegal access. As technology develops, encryption methods expand to fend off new security risks and safeguard consumers' privacy. The fourth concept is RSA's RSA crypto system. A popular public key crypto system that may be used for both encryption and digital signatures is called RSA or Rivers Rivers Shamir Adelman. RSA uses digital signatures in the following ways. The first one is key generation. Making a key pair is the first step in utilizing RSA for digital signatures. A private key and a public key make up the key pair, while the public key is made available to users or others for signature verification. The private key is kept hidden and utilized to sign communications. Digital Signature Generation the, the one who signs performs the following actions to create a digital signature for a message. The first one is hashing. A cryptographic hash function such as SH8256 or SH83 is used to first hash the message. Regardless of the message's length, this step generates a fixed size output. Padding is applied to the hash value to make sure that it has the same size as the RSA key modules. The digital signature security depends on this padding strategy, which also serves as thwart other assaults. Signing the padding hash is then encrypted using the RSA technique and the signer's private key. As a result, a mathematical representation of the original message is created as a digital signature. Verification. Anyone may use these procedures to validate a digital signature. Decryption. The recipient decrypts the digital signature using the signer's public key, which should provide the padded hash value. Hashing. The recipient uses the same cryptographic hash function that was used to create the signature to hash the original message. The one is padding to the hash of the original message using the same padding strategy that was used to create the signature. And the fourth one, a comparison, is made between the computed padding hash value and the one received through decryption by the receiver. The signature is deemed to be legitimate if they line up, otherwise it is said to be invalid. The difficulty of factoring the huge modulus size in the RSA crypto system algorithm underlies the security of RSA digital signatures. 
RSA signatures are regarded as safe as long as the private key is kept secret and the patent technique is correctly used. However, using suitably high key sizes is crucial to preserve security over time owing to improvements in computer power and the creation of new mathematical techniques. Key lengths of 2048 bits or greater are advised for RSA signatures as a result. The foundation of security in our internet websites that require user credentials depend heavily on mathematical processes, together with highly technical computer science. From our everyday messages and interactions through Messenger, Facebook, and transactions through Conflux, Gcash, BPI, and BDO banking accounts, etc., all of them are secured through a properly monitored and secured crypto system.